All right, guys, so we got another unboxing video. This time, uh, this is from Bergen Water Gardens, and I've never ordered anything from Bergen Water Gardens before, so I'm super excited to see what uh, the packaging looks like. I don't even remember if I asked for it to be potted or if it's unpotted. Looks like it's potted. Seems like there's a lot of packaging material here, which is great, and I see it right there. Oop, just carefully lift it out. Okay, looks promising. This one's gonna be a really big one. This is Seaguyanensis by Mariliana. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Super excited for this one. Let's see. Looks like at least one picture. Growth point looks like it is intact. Look at those squatty little pictures. Just get all these peanuts out. Shh, bird friend. All right. Looks like it's okay. We got the growth point there. We got one fat little picture. Oh my gosh, look how, look how squatty this picture is. Do you guys see that? Look how fat it is, I love it. And the growth point looks like it's intact. Ooh, looks like there was one developing down here that got a little bit smashed, unfortunately. Yeah, ooh, I'm just gonna cut this one off. Do you guys see that? It's totally split down the middle. Unfortunately, it got Looks like it got caught underneath the pot. So I'm just gonna cut that one off so it doesn't waste any energy on that one. Looks like there's one here, another developing pitcher. This one looks like it made it. Kind of hugging the underneath the pot, so that's cool. Awesome, so looks like we only got one crushed pitcher. Growth point is intact. I'm gonna fill in, looks like um, some could fill in a little bit of substrate here, so I'm going to put in a little bit of long fibered sphagnum moss on the bottom. And here is the tag. Cebu Yanensis. Oops, my. Oh, gosh, what happened? Okay. Cebu uh, Yanensis by Mariliana. So it looks like it came through pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and fix the substrate and give it some water, and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I uh, added a little bit more long fibered sphagnum and perlite onto the top just to fill in some of the um, substrate. There was kind of like a divot there. I also put water into the pitchers. Um, I started doing this acclimation process after talking to Joshua Ritz about it. And basically what he does is he fills the pitchers up with water and then bags them. So I reuse these Ziploc bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into uh, this bag here, and then I'll put it into the intermediate terrarium where it should be very, very happy. Looks like it's got a nice bronzy glow. I noticed that there's one leaf here that was cut off. I'm not sure why, maybe it just got damaged a little bit. But hopefully by filling this pitcher up with water, and putting it into an extremely high humidity environment inside the bag, uh, we should prevent any pitcher loss. And uh, since I started doing this with my new plants, uh, I've noticed that I've lost very few pitchers, usually only the oldest ones die, and uh, the plant acclimates way faster. So I'll show you what that looks like in the terrarium. As you can see, the terrarium is looking more full all the time, which is great. The, actually, the more plants you have in a greenhouse or terrarium, the more stable the environment is. So it's actually better to fill up your growing space with as many plants as you can. Uh, it just looks like a little jungle in here and I love it. So, oh my goodness, here is the Sibuyensis by Mariliana all bagged up. I just inflated the bag a little bit by breathing into it. Give it some of that lovely carbon dioxide from, um, you know, animal respiration and all that. And I'm just going to try and find space in here. 
because as you can see I've got several plants acclimating as well so I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out So that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Bird. So um, anyway, I've just got a bunch of plants. I just got these guys in. These are cuttings, so it also helps to bag up new cuttings. Or um, This is a basil shoot that I cut off and will make its own plant. There's cuttings in the back there. And then I have a bunch of small plants kind of throughout here. But everybody is looking really, really nice. Uh, you can see this one. This Jacqueline, this Maxima by Jacqueline is like taking over the place. <laughs> but there's actually a lot of growing room back there that I'm not using right now. Um, but if you can't fill up the space, it works really well to kind of tuck all the plants in close to each other so that the relative humidity stays high, uh, kind of in that little micro environment inside the terrarium. I'm just gonna look over my other plants because this is my first time. Uh, looking over these plants. So what I do with these bags is once a day or once every other day I'll just you know open it up blow into the bag kind of move out some of that stale air and then I will kind of close it and add more carbon dioxide by breathing into it and there you go. So that's what I do to these bags about every day or every other day. So uh, um, these plants are going to stay in these bags. Um, this one to acclimate for maybe two weeks. Depends on how the plant settles in. Because it arrived potted, I bet it's going to uh, start growing pretty quick. So as soon as the plant starts growing, then I um, unzip the top of the bag and let the humidity lower a little bit, but still give it some protection from the walls of the bag. And then um, maybe two to three weeks after it arrives, I'll remove the bag completely. And if you remove the bag and notice your plant wilting, then just pop it back into the bag um, and then you can extend the acclimation process for as long as you need to. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to show you guys a plant where I didn't do that acclimation process and how uh, moving growing environments can really negatively affect your plant. So this one, this was before I knew about the bag trick. So this is an Apenthes gracilis cutting. And you can see these are the leaves it arrived with. And then these really small, super stressed out leaves. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. Yeah, these super small stressed out leaves right there, see? Uh, that's what happens when your plant is not acclimating very well and it also lost a bunch of its pitchers. So if it would just focus, yeah, there we go. So you can see those really small stressed out leaves. Now it's finally acclimated. These new leaves are, you know, the same size or larger than its previous leaves. It's got a nice color to it. And then uh, that pitcher at the end of that new leaf is inflating. So I'm going to get my first pitcher from it finally. And uh, this one arrived 820. So almost two months later, month and a half later, it's finally acclimated. So it takes a long time if you don't use the bag trick. But if you use the bag trick, then it only takes three weeks. Basically cuts your acclimation time in half. So that's kind of my trick for you today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.